So an adjustment of the previous mechanism, which gave us the lemniscate of Booth, will give us um, the lemniscate of uh, Bernoulli. Um, we will have to do a similar trick, I think, uh, in order to um, get the equation. And let's just take a look. Um, we're going to start with point at the origin. And give us um, a line here. Um, we're going to have a, a couple of specifically length, um, uh, fixed length um, links uh, there, and another one uh, coming here, and another one uh, coming up here. That'd be a C and D will be able to slide along that line, and then the lengths are going to be such that. Um, this is from A to B, A to E, sorry, is A, and it's going to be the same length as this one. And the rest of the links will be some other length B. And as theta, it will, will give a theta there. And so as theta varies, we see what that link does. I'm not going to let it vary too far because the link is going to collapse once D runs through A. And the, the, the curve is traced by D. So there's my curve, a lemniscate of uh, Bernoulli. Um, if I ask her for the equation, and I'm going to find, like in the last one, that, it, that the GX web is not um, prepared to work the, through to its conclusion. Um, a GX web will only work on something for about a minute before it times out, and. Um, uh, this is one that it is not able to resolve in the time frame. And so I'll we'll just give a bit of a hand. It turns out that um, a different parameterization can actually um, uh, help GX web. So in this case, we've parameterized it based on uh, the angle theta. Another way we could do it, however, is imagine instead of turning the, um, uh, the line and letting D and C um, move um, to accommodate that turn, uh, we can actually just, you know, let's cancel out this computation. I don't believe it's going anywhere. We can remove the angle and instead, and of course my curve has gone away because it's driven by the angle. Um, instead, what I can do is um, uh, specify the distance from A to C. So in other words, we're going to be uh, pulling C um, and uh, let's, let's make that T. Uh, T is a, a special um, uh, uh, variable. Notice that it by default is unlocked because we tend to use it as a parameter rather than as a as a, a coefficient. So um, it by default is unlocked. So we can actually drag it, and we can see, okay, this is the mechanism doing its doing its stuff as we as we as we change that distance from A to C. And so we can now um, uh, look at the curve as t varies. Now we only got part of the curve because um, we're not going to let that go. It's not going to go through um, the, the uh, to the other configurations that we want. Um, however, uh, we can ask for its equation. So it might not be K0, let's make sure we know what there's actually K1. Um, okay, so uh, we, we might have better luck um, with it uh, parameters this way, and indeed we have, uh, so we can actually get uh, the equation of Bernoulli's in this case. If you want to see the rest of it, like, uh, Clever thing we can do is just um, 
I reflect that in the x and y axis. So I reflect that. Uh, and the x axis, I select these two and reflect them in the y axis. And there we have the entire curve.